In 2012, the Sydney Nolan Trust, based in Prestine, were given a large set, or uh, well, a complete set, of Encyclopaedia Britannicas. Um, they decided to set up a challenge, and people willing to take on the challenge took a volume each of the Encyclopaedia, with the aim of turning that volume into a unique and very different uh, work of art. I took up the challenge and I produced a piece of work for volume 21. I'm going to explain to you uh, what I did. I looked through the encyclopedia many times, trying to come up with ideas. I came up with more ideas in the end than I could possibly do. So I had to narrow it down to things that I already had some experience of. This summer's been very warm and I've done a lot of swimming. Also, I've seen more than the usual number of butterflies in my garden. So I, I decided to combine the two, since I had the ST volume. Looking through the volume, I saw the heading swimming, and working with that, I thought, what can I do that would combine butterflies and swimming? And then I read, swimming the butterfly. Ideal. So I, I combined the idea of people swimming and I broke down the stroke into the different parts of the stroke. Um, and I tried to combine the butterflies with humans. And I came up with three different butterflies. The swallowtail, and this is an example of the swallowtail, one of the swallowtail examples here. Um, the white butterfly and the peacock. The swallowtail and the white butterfly I had as female swimmers and the peacock as the male. I did three of each and then I looked at them and thought how can I arrange them on the book. So I coloured the book blue or various blues using uh, neo pastels and also the museum aquarelle watercolour pencils and so I had then a swimming pool in effect the cover the uh, opening page looked like uh, a swimming pool and then I got my little models and coloured them again with the same watercolour media and then I got something called florist wire or cake wire because I believe that this wire is used to attach flowers and things to cakes. It's very bendy, it's covered in paper so you can actually paint it and it's quite thin as you can see. So I got a, a package of that and I cut it uh, to the lengths I needed and fixed it onto the back of my model. This is one of the prototypes that I use. It's good because you can bend it right round and get the angle that you want for the swimmers. I then took this pearl cotton embroidery thread and it's a metallic one with a slight um, indication of the, the metallic part of the thread at regular intervals all along. I stretched this across the book to make the lanes. The butterfly stroke is a competitive stroke so I thought it needs to be a kind of race really. So I arranged this in lanes across the book and then arranged my butterfly swimmers in rows and I had to decide who was going to win the race really. After much debate I chose my favourite butterfly, the swallowtail. Since then I've handed in my book to the Sydney Nolan Trust. Um, it's on exhibition as I speak now which is September 2013 and I understand that it's going on a, a travelling exhibition um, next stop, Bristol. So I hope you can catch it at some point on its travels.